This is TJ. In this video, I want to quickly cover five programs that are excellent tools for cryptography and data security on your computer. These programs are KeyPass, TrueCrypt, 7-Zip, CryptTool, and Eraser. All these programs are completely free to download and use for both personal and commercial use, and they're also open source software. Um, if you want to download these and try them out for yourself, you can find download links at my website, tjfree.com. And let's just look at this first program here, KeyPass. This is actually KeyPass X, which is a version of KeyPass that will run on Windows, Macintosh, and Linux. By the way, I'm using uh, Windows 7 to run these programs today. Um, anyway, so KeyPass is a password manager. And so you type in your password. You first create a database. And then what I just did, I typed in my password and provided a key file. And now I can get into this database. And it has all of my usernames, all of my passwords. It's all kept encrypted and secure in this database on my hard drive. Um, you can also use it port portably on a like a USB jump drive. But it's nice because I can now copy any of these usernames or passwords directly to my clipboard. Like I'll copy the password for this fictitious Yahoo account. And then I can just paste it and that's what my password looks like for this account. So I, that is That would be my password for that account I guess. And then uh, I could log in and that way you don't have to, you know, sometimes it, you might have the same password for all your accounts or you might have passwords written down by the side of your computer. Neither one of those is very secure. Or even worse, you might have an, a file, an unencrypted file on your computer with all your usernames and passwords written in it. So this just helps you keep your passwords out of the hands of people that you don't want to, to have getting into your accounts. Um, this next program, TrueCrypt. TrueCrypt is a, an encryption program. Um, it works on Windows, Macintosh, and Linux, and it lets you either encrypt your entire hard drive, you can encrypt just a storage device like an SD card or a USB stick, or you can also create a file, which is what I'm going to show you real quick here. You can create a file to encrypt. I have one here called Secret. So this is just an encrypted file. It's 25 megabytes in size. If we go to look at it, you can just see it's just all encrypted data, and um, in order to make it useful to access, there, there is, I have some pictures and a uh, document inside there. So if we go to, we uh, navigate to it, I tell it where, the, where it's at, tell the computer where it's at. I mount it on, we'll say drive S, and then type in my password. Now it actually mounts it as a virtual drive on my computer. So I can use it just like I would any, any type of removable storage. Right here, local disk S. If I go to it, here we go. We've got these house pictures, and I've got um, a lease, a, a real estate document, so maybe these are things I don't want to have fall into the wrong hands. I can drag and drop them to my computer, and they'll uh, they'll encrypt and, and decrypt on the fly, which is cool. And then as soon as I'm done using this, as soon as I, I'm done doing whatever I'm doing, I can go back into TrueCrypt, dismount that drive, and now if we go back to it, you'll see it's not there at all. So, very cool program for keeping information private. Um, you can also send that encrypted file to someone else who uses TrueCrypt and give them the password, and then that you can share information that way, but still have it be encrypted. Okay. This next program, 7-Zip, is actually a, it's a file archiver and compression tool. You're probably familiar with it. A lot of people use it for downloading. When they download compressed files off the Internet, they'll use it to decompress them, to extract archive files. But you can also use it to create an encrypted archive. And I'll show you that real quick. So if I have I have these five files here, a video file, three images, and a uh, document. So if I select all those, when you install 7-Zip, it will also, um, if you let it, it'll install a file menu. When you right click, you can just go right to 7-Zip. And so I'll say add to archive. And then I'll, I'll make this archive, it's going to be called sandbox2.7z. It's using the .7z file extension. I could also do um, um, a tar or zip file, or it has other options as well. Um, anyway, so I'm going to encrypt this, and I'll put a password. If, it, if I don't do a password, it would just make a regular archive that anyone can get into. But if I put a password, then you have to know the password to get into it. I'm, I'm also going to encrypt those file names so that people can't even figure out what the files are. All right, there we go. Now we've got this encrypted file here. It's called sandbox2.7z. If someone goes to extract it or to, to view the files that are inside there, it's going to say, what's the password? So you got to type in the password, and then it'll let you extract those files and have access to them. Kind of similar to TrueCrypt, I guess. 
Um, only it doesn't give you as much control over the encryption methods. But it's just a quick and easy way. And if you do it in the .zip extension, they can even extract that without even having the 7-zip file and uh, software installed on their computer. Okay. Um, you, I guess I should also mention you can do encryption with just the program that comes with Windows. You can extract, you can create an archive and encrypt it. The encryption is just not nearly as strong as the encryption with 7-zip. All right, this next program, Crypt Tool, is a just. It's actually designed to be an educational tool for teaching you cryptography and teaching you how to analyze and decrypt encrypted messages and just teaching you how to do cryptography. Anyway, if I say this is a uh, secret message. All right, so we type in our message here. We can go and do a simple. It has all these different methods for encrypting this data. But if we do a simple Caesar encryption and we say let's offset the alphabet by five letters. So now instead of the letter A, it becomes F, B becomes G, C becomes H. It just shifts the whole alphabet up five letters. So we go encrypt, and now we have this encrypted message. So we have these two separate windows. There's the original text. Here's the new text. Um, and it's cool because it also has feet. Uh, I'll show you another more advanced one, I guess, really quickly. Um, if we go to do this one, this RC4 method, it has a hex key. It wants a hex key, so we'll say um, 6A for our hex key encrypt. So now it's encrypted it to look like this, which will be a lot harder to decrypt than the last one I showed you. But it, let's say I someone stumbles upon this, they think it looks like that, they think they know what kind of cipher it is. So, or what type of cryptography I should say, you can come over to analysis and you go, you say I think that's RC4 and you say I think it has a, an 8-bit key and just say analyze. And now It'll go through and say, is it any of these ones? You can look through and say, this one looks like it is English text. And you say, accept selection, and it'll decrypt it. So even without knowing the hex key. Anyway, that's a, just a quick example of how you can use it to both decrypt messages, even if you don't know the key. And you can encrypt messages. You could send this text uh, in an email or something to someone and say, hey, this is the format it is. This is the key. You can share information that way. Anyway, very cool tool. This last one, Eraser is a program that will securely erase any data on your computer. So let's say I go back here and I want to erase this picture. I can go right click and go to eraser. It also when it installs will install a menu on your right click options, right click menu, and you can just go erase. And what that'll do, it will erase it um, completely off your computer. It it'll it erases it writes over it several times with different algorithms so it can't be recovered. Sometimes when you delete, or always when you delete something just regularly on your computer, even if you empty it from the recycling bin, it can still be retrieved, um, especially immediately after, until new information gets rewritten on top of it on your hard drive. So Eraser kind of a, a, makes it so that can't happen. It, it writes everything over top of the, of the disk you know, n a number of times in order to completely make sure it can't be ever retrieved again. All right, well, these are the programs I was just wanted to share with you today. I um, hope you've enjoyed this video, and uh, please see my other videos. If this has piqued your interest, I think you'd uh, 